Maintaining a jail is no easy matter, especially in light of the coronavirus pandemic, and sheriffs are now facing the difficult decision of how to keep inmates and deputies safe while also making sure people are held accountable for their actions. We're considering all things, you know, planning for the worst and hoping for the best. Jackson and Josephine County jails are trying to balance inmate and community safety. Sheriffs Nathan Sickler and Dave Daniel have both said the number of people they can hold is down to allow for proper distancing. We've just reduced our population by almost a third. While the jails can still take in people, both are looking at making sure inmates have enough space. Josephine County has issued releases for several at-risk and low-level inmates in partnership with the corrections facility. What level the offender is, um, are they are they going to be a danger to the public um, and, and certain criteria to help us? measure who could, who could and who was eligible to leave. Jackson County says they haven't reached that point, but are considering it. Both sheriffs say their jails have so far remained untouched by coronavirus. Tests have been given to some inmates and deputies, but all have turned back negative. You know, everybody's very mindful of this. It's not something we're taking lightly, um, but at the same token, we still have to do our job. And we still have to do it safely and we still have to do it thoroughly. Oregon Public Broadcasting reported last week a group of inmates in Oregon state prisons filed a lawsuit against the state for not taking necessary safety measures. Both Sheriff Sickler and Daniel assured they're doing what they can with the resources available. All the jails in the state uh, are at the county level, of course, are, are, are you know taking measures, taking steps to try to mitigate um, liability and also health concerns. It's a balancing act that both sheriffs say they're continuously updating. In Medford, Miles Ruichi, NBC5 News.